Hello everyone, this is Aisha Joshi and uh, again I would like to welcome you on this brand new channel of Achieve Ideas and here we are going to discuss a uh, uh, great latest news that is on AWS reservation. So uh, somehow it is not uh, latest at all, yeah but it is important take for exam point of view, okay. So today we are going to discuss about AWS reservation. So first of all have a look what it is. So it was added in constitution by 103rd amendment act 2019 in order to give effect to this provision the central government issued an order okay in 2019 uh, providing 10% reservation to the economical weaker section EWS sections okay in admission to educational institutes so uh, what we are going to discuss in this particular session and what's the background of it so first I have a look towards the case description. Several red petitions uh, have challenged the constitutionality of the constitution. The 103rd Amendment Act 2019 which introduced reservation of economically weaker section. So there were so many petitions that has been done. Uh, so what was the result of it, uh, it and uh, what was the background of it? Let's have a view. On 9th January 2019, the uh, Parliament of India enacted the Constitution and uh, 103rd Amendment Act 2019 and it enabled the state to make reservations in higher education and matters of public employment on the basis of economic criteria only. Okay, so the Act amends Article 15 and 16. Yeah, it is important that uh, this act amends the article 15 and 16 of the constitution introducing article uh, article 15 6 and 16 6 it received presidential assent on 12th of january 2019 and was published in the gadget gadget at the same day okay the amendment under article 15 6 enables the state to make special provision for the advancement of any weak economically weaker section of citizens including reservations in educational institution as we had already discussed and the except minority educational institution covers article 31 okay it further states that the upper limit of ews reservation will be 10 percent meaning 10 percent of seats can be reserved for citizens falling in the ews category this 10% ceiling is independent of ceilings on existing reservations. So the question is who are the persons or who what is the eligibility criteria to lead in the um, EWS reservation regards this we are going to discuss some, some topics okay some points. So uh, let's take a view of it. Reserve persons whose family has gross annual income below rupees 8 lakh are to be identified as EWS for the benefit of reservation. This is the first thing. Next, persons whose family owns or possesses any one of the following assets are to be excluded from being identified in EWS, uh, EWS irrespectively of the following in, uh, family income. So, what should be, uh, it shouldn't be done that 5 acres of agricultural land and above the residential flat of 1000 square feet and above, residential plot of 100 square yards and above in notified municipalities, especially in notified municipalities, okay, and uh, residential plot of 200 square yards and above in areas other than the notified municipalities. These were the criteria and the person should be excluded from these identified uh, criteria so it uh, he could, he or she could be in aws category okay the person held by a family in different locations or different places cities would be clubbed, clubbed while applying the land or properties holding test to determine aws status Family for this person, uh, purpose would include the person who seeks benefit of reservation, his, her parents and siblings below the age of 18 as also his, her spouse and children below the age of 18 years. So 
all these were the criteria by uh, by which we can say that the person is in aws category or not so article 166 enables the state to make provisions for reservations in appointments again these provisions will be subject to a 10% ceiling in addition to the existing reservation okay so uh, basically and uh, the thing is they argued in in this particular section we know that so many writ petitions has been done so more than 20 petitions has been filed challenging the constitutional validity of this uh, this amendment okay they what they argued and why they did the uh, file the petition against it they argued that the amendment violates the basic feature of the constitution and violates the fundamental right to equality under article 14 in particular they make the following arg arguments so what are the arguments it is all about the first case that is indra sani and versus union of india it is of 1992 case reservations cannot be based solely on economic criteria given the supreme court's judgment okay the next was scsts and obcs cannot be excluded from economic reservation as this would violate the fundamental right to equality next thing is the amendment introduced reservation that exceed the 50% ceiling limit of on reservations established by indra sani imposing reservations on educational institutions that do not receive state and it violates the fundamental rights to equality at present 49.5% of seats in education and public appointments are reserved with 15% 7.5% and 27% quotas for scheduled caste scheduled tribes and other backward class respectively so here what were the features of these writ petitions that these are the uh, these above mentioned uh, arguments are done in these 20 plus petitions okay but let me know you this these all uh, arguments were cleared all petitions were cleared supreme court gave his final judgment by the july and uh, after that it was mentioned that it will be applicable in each and every exam that will be coming towards the uh, next uh, next sessions okay so it has already been cleared what were the questions in it what were the issues in it that first one is can reservation be prescribed only on the basis of economic criteria and not social and educational backwardness under the constitution scheme the second question was is the addition of 10% reservation for economically weaker section unconstitutional as it exceeds the 50% limit of reservation laid in the indra sani versus union of india so basically the basic the base uh, case that was the, uh, the the first writ that was applicable on it was indra sani's case and it was totally uh then it was the uh, basic judgment or the final judgment has been already been done by the supreme court that it will be applicable okay yeah it is exceeding the limit but it categorized in the economically backward class quotas okay but last reservations were not basis on the economical sections so supreme court cleared the section and now we can the person uh, who is under the economically backward section can take this uh, the, uh, take the particular profit from this amendment so uh, thanks for watching have a nice day